What's up, guys? I'm here to review The Walking Dead, the video game, the Telltale game, not the not the show. That's too just not the show. The video game, The Walking Dead, is amazing. The new season, season three, just came out. They have three seasons that are two of them follow an arc of a little girl named Clementine, and the third one is somewhat about it, Clementine, but it's more about a new character named Javi, Javier, him and his group of family and his journey and it kind of intertwines and a lot of shit goes down so this one no hold, hold this doesn't hold back at all it really doesn't so <clears throat> five episodes to complete this series it's five episodes and um this is more of a like a family kind of thing clementine was on uh season one and two season two was more on her own she was on her own clementine but this one, she just kind of like collides into this storyline, which is interesting. But you still play as her in in, in flashbacks in, in some ways. But you can still be on her side, which I like a lot because, to be honest, you raised you you, you started with her, you raised her, and then you you were here for a while, season two alone. But now you stuck with just a new guy. But he's not so bad. Javier's cool. He used to be a baseball player that. Um, gambled a little too much and ruined his career <clears throat> but he's really good at baseball and he has his older brother who was in the army and he's more angry and has his, he's just he's just a soldier that's all he is it's a soldier he clearly explains that and he has a family with with his his new his wife kate and uh he has a son what's his son's name gabe gabe was his son's name and mariana is his daughter but hobby was the one and that, that this main arc is it's about Javier and uh, his brother he, in the beginning it starts off with um, the fam, um, the grandpa certainly passing away but you know he's a zombie at that moment everything turns to zombie everything breaks loose the zombie apocalypse happens just like a typical walking dead everything starts but his brother goes missing and then Javier is alone with Kate and the kids Gabe and Mariana so that's where it starts and there's a whole journey a whole journey of a lot of people dying. This one, a lot of people dying. This one, a lot. And uh, let me tell you, it's just, it's just, it wasn't bad. It was good. I think this one was a uh, pretty competitive towards uh, the other previous seasons. Even though you know the first season is my favorite because I love Lee. Lee was amazing. The father, to me, he was the father. You know, but they killed him off too soon. I was hoping he would come back. I didn't choose. I didn't chose to make Clementine shoot him. If you guys did not, if you guys did not play season one or season two, I'm sorry. This is this spoilers. I should have warned you, but that's kind of a spoiler. So spoiler warning from now on. Yeah. So I didn't choose him. I didn't choose to shoot him. So no. I was hoping he'd come back. I was like, oh, he won't turn into a zombie. He hasn't come back yet. It's three seasons later, he hasn't come back. So I lost all hope of Lee coming back. So, but regardless of the fact is, Clementine. Now Clementine. She's just, just, it depends on how you ended your uh, season two story. But my ending was her being on her own and ditching her two people and stuff. And uh, just her and uh, AJ, the baby. That's all I ended with. I made her just a whole, uh, like a stone cold, like like not trusting anybody. I, I, she didn't trust anybody. That's how my story is. And that's fine because I think that's a good arc. Everybody has their own choices, but I like the fact that her being on her own, her being strong on her own, protecting just her and AJ, not trusting anybody, because that world is fucking crazy. You got people um, doing stuff, branding them, uh, the new people, the new frontier, they brand their, their uh, the guests, whoever's in that group, the community, they brand them with some, some symbol, and it's just it's crazy. And um, so, last shit goes down. But Clementine uh, meets up with Javi, and starts with Javier. Javier and uh, Kate are driving and stuff, and some people find Javier and Gabe. Gabe and Kate, all of them, they find them, but they didn't know they were stealing their own resources. And it ends up being the new frontier, which is, then, then they go to Prescott, which they meet more people, and they try to help uh, Javier in certain ways, but then the new frontier, which is the same people that attacked them before, comes in, causes chaos, and fucks it up for everybody. And that, yeah, you have to play it. Regardless of the fact is that the new se the new season was good. It was filled with uh, people, the deaths and stuff. I'm not gonna say, uh, spoil any of that, just so you can play it. But 
it was entertaining, the storytelling was good, and the new mechanics were good. And it was a lot of uh, action, and you got to beat somebody's head in with a bat. I think that's funny. Negan killed Glenn this season in uh, Walking Dead and beat people with a bat. So it was cool being on the end of the bat and not feeling bad for the person that died. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. I won't lie. Now, um, it was a good season. It was it was entertaining and um, it was pretty it was pretty fast. These episodes are faster than um, the other episodes. These these are like hour and like twenty minutes. It's not like it was longer. Like the other seasons, they had long ones. These 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 in particular. This season in particular is way shorter to me. The episodes and um, you can get through them quick. But it's still good, and it's the consequences and the different choices you pick is it, it really matters. I think the ending has like f almost six or seven different endings, and I have to explore that more because I did not like what happened in one of my endings, and I was I was satisfied with it, but then that one aspect I wasn't. But in the end of it, it says Clementine will be in the next season, so we're not done seeing Clementine yet, even though she had somewhat of less screen time she was like the supporting actor um actress and uh javier was the main character in this one it was a weird take but it wasn't bad it was pretty cool oh and one of the walking dead cast mm -hmm. an important member is in this show uh the game so you gotta yeah check it out it's pretty pretty cool I recommend it to anybody who likes The Walking Dead. I mean, Walking Dead was big back then. I don't know if it's still big now, the game. But it's still it's still good. Telltale games are making great games. I haven't played the Guardians of the Galaxy yet, but I played the Batman series, and that one was really good to me. I like the whole new take on Batman. And um, I played uh, Wolf Among Us. Well, to me, that's one of the best ones, and it's like underrated. They only had one season for it. That was, that was a really great game, that Wolf Among Us one. And... Um, they make good, yeah, they make good games. Yeah, I like them all. I haven't tried the Borderlands. It tells of Borderlands yet. I, I was never a fan of Borderlands, so I never got into that. But um, the Game of Thrones one is pretty good too. Not bad. I check it out, man. Uh, I gotta check out the other ones. But they do a good job. They they keep entertaining. They, the storytelling is great. The interactive stuff is great. And you know what? It's worth it. I, I think you should guys get it. I think it's. You know, twenty five dollars uh, for a game case. You get a disc now and have all the episodes on there. The whole season's finished, or you can get download content on the, any store you have, a PlayStation Store or the Xbox Store. You can just download it. It's really good, and I think you guys should try it. So, thanks for hearing my review, guys. I mean, I'm just, like I said, I'm starting up again. I'm trying to get it to work. Hopefully, everything comes together, be good, and my YouTube channel gets pretty good. I'm, I mean, thanks for watching. I appreciate all your help. And, like I said, I'm going to have a little more reviews and stuff. I'm also going to do a review on one of my sh favorite shows uh, right now. Well, it's my favorite shows in general. But it's, like, just an underrated show. So, I'll, I, I'm going to just, I'm going to link that up. And I'll give you, I'm going to post it. And hopefully you guys like it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you. <laughs>